Hey guys, King Jad here. I like to kind of put my own me thoughts into Phil's daily crap from the other nights. So now, it's one of those things where like, I miss like the night time antics usually that Phil has because it begins about 3am UK time and by that time I'm usually fast asleep because I'm a normal adult, you know, that has a normal adult life. I work in the morning. I start work at 8am in the morning, so yeah, I'm not going to fucking stay awake at 3am just to fucking watch this guy beg for fucking money. No, no, no. A lot of other people take care of that. So Piece of Peace done his wee live stream. I actually checked out Piece of Peace's live stream just to see if there was going to be a code black spoiler alert that was the nuke got launched. And I also seen a couple of other people like Snort Hogan, uh, for example, in a wee video saying DSP support non-existent. And, uh, yeah, I recommend that video by the way. If you're not subscribed to Snort Hogan, he's also a 2k sub, so help him get to 2k. So yeah, we shout, we shout out to Snort Hogan there. But uh, yeah, Phil had a really interesting wee thing uh, about multiverses where he complains and particularly he really lays down what he means by support now. In the past he's tried to say support essentially means everything like you know, attendance and chat engagement as well as financial support. This time it's clear as day and he set us to look what he means by support. I'll just let him say it for us, shall we? Um, play for two hours. Viewership, great. Engagement when it came to people talking with me and, and, and you know, actually liking the stream, great. Support, pretty much non-existent. And at this point, I I'm feeling like a broken record. I like multiverses. I'm really having a great time with the game. I'm trying to learn it. I'm not good at it, but I'm slowly playing each character, trying to learn their builds, earning credits to unlock the next character. Like, I'm really trying to cover the game seriously. Now, am I a big FGC guy? No, I'm not. So you're not seeing me play this four, five, six, seven times a week, playing it as major giant streams. You're seeing me play it two, three times a week on late nights. It's good for variety for the streams. The people are showing up to watch it, but there's very little support. So there we go, Phil. It's just completely set to start now. Support equals tips. There's no fucking two ways about it. He's trying to do his best in the past to say support means attending the fucking streams and watching the videos on demand and all that. And that and all that since literally he is just crying for money. And this is literally the only game which is not getting the kind of money he really wants and expects at the straight. You know, he doesn't play it that much anyway to begin with. He also plays it like, you know, twice a week maybe. But yeah, he doesn't really he's not happy whatsoever that the game is not getting the support he thinks it deserves. Or not necessarily the game thing. He thinks he deserves it. He doesn't think the game necessarily deserves it, but he thinks he deserves it because he talks about, oh, I, I'm not a big FGC guy, so I can't put in the time to get amazingly brilliant at the game and all this nonsense. He's right making the fucking excuses as to why he deserves your money, even though he's not some pro level fucking player of this goddamn game. Last time I played it was a rare night when there was a lot of support for it, but pretty much almost every time I play this game, Support is low to non-existent. Now, here's the thing. It'd be one thing if you say, well, Phil, this is a pattern. It's not. I Bassmaster, Final Fantasy VII, right? Even Two Point Campus to some extent. <clears throat> Even when I do my late night Street Fighter streams slash fighting game streams on Friday Night Fights. Okay, like everything I'm doing is getting support. Just not multiverses. And I don't get it. I really don't. It's a game that I like. It's a hot new game. I'm, you know, doing the best efforts to earn it, to learn it, excuse me. No, 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 you're fucking right the first time, Phil. Don't even try and pretend otherwise. You meant to say earn it. Although, let's be honest, man, you're just fucking sitting there playing the game badly and people throw money at you just because you're begging for them to pay your bills for you. Is that really earning their fucking money? I don't really think so. You've got to be fucking entertaining and all that shit, and guess, guess what you're doing is not that fucking entertaining. It gets better, though, it gets better. Look at, look at the excuses he comes up with as to why you should give him money. You guys have asked me to learn a new fighting game over the years, but... Uh, it's blame the audience straight away. It's all about the fans. The fans have asked for it, and if the fans aren't giving them the fucking tips and the money he wants, it's going to be all their fault, even though... Because they've fucking asked for it, apparently. Besides Old School Street Fighter, so I'm doing that because I like this one. Hell, today I purposely wore my Gremlin shirt in celebration that Spike is in the game and will be a character in Season 1 coming up in the next couple of months. I was so hyped. But every time I play this game, it's like no one wants to support it. I just don't get it. There we fucking go. That's the fucking saddest, cringiest moment in a fucking video, in my opinion. He's like, I even wore a special t-shirt trying to elicit money from you guys, but nobody cared. Nobody cared to give me the fucking money that I wanted and demanded from you guys. It's quite possible for the fucking tapped out. He got well over $300 yesterday, for example. 
and today it is the day stream you got almost 150 bucks thanks to some weirdo fucking impersonating me but that's fucking neither here nor there but yeah the fact of the matter is phil you're just not able to get the fucking money from the same sources let's, let's be real let's be completely honest let's lay our cards at the fucking table you have quite a few people you know supporting you and a lot of them are the same people for just various reasons are fucking using sock accounts to try and make it seem like you're more popular than you are that's just the sad truth of the matter you openly admit to having you know, people on sock accounts and a lot of these guys just fucking seem to enjoy pretending to be other people just to make you seem like you're more popular than you are and there's got to be limits for these people you know there absolutely has to be limits for how much these people can give you because there's one person essentially a lot of the time also I'm not saying it's all just one person pretending to be like fucking hundreds of people I'm not saying that it's a handful of people pretending to be dozens of people which is fucking bizarre and weird to me but there you fucking go and they've, they've, they've got limits. They've got financial limits. They've got their own financial burdens that they've got to fucking worry about. They cannot just fucking make sure they're there every time you fucking cry, I need to pay a bill. They have their limits. They paid your last bill for you. They stepped up when you fucking wanted them to. And it's just sad as hell, man. He's just fucking flapping his wee t-shirt at the fucking camera, just saying, why didn't I get more money for wearing my special t-shirt? I just don't. I don't understand it. Maybe I've been too too long out of the competitive fighting game scene and the people who used to care just don't care anymore and they're not watching my stuff. Maybe that's what it is. Um, I'm not sure. But it's it's disheartening because, for example, I'm playing it tonight. I'm going to play it again Wednesday night. I'm trying to at least play this twice a week at on night streams. I, I, but I just don't get it. If I get feedback, whatever, whatever. I need feedback. What is going on with this game that whenever I play it, I just can't get support. I don't understand it. All right? It's weird because the viewership's there. I'm actually getting more views on this than a lot of my other playthroughs, but I can't keep doing it if I don't get support. I'm sorry, this is my job as well as my hobby. It is. And especially these, these last few weeks, I told you guys it's been very rough. <clears throat> it's been tight. This week is no exception, you know? And the fact that I, I'm playing it multiple times a week, like, well, I guess every time I play it, it's going to be a dud. So I better hope I have a really good daytime stream where I'm screwed, right? I, 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 I don't know what else to say. If you have any ideas... Any opinions? Let me know. I'll let you know my fucking opinion, Phil, gladly, for free. How about you stop fucking spending money in WWE Champions? I'm not saying you spent all your money. Don't fucking try and me construe it as you spending every single cent you've got on a mobile game. I don't think many detractors are actually saying you spend all your fucking money in that game. Naturally you have bills, we all have fucking bills, and a lot of your money, or well, some of your money, goes to your fucking bills. But there's no doubt in anyone's mind that you are wasting money on needless things such as WWE Champions. Drop the fucking game, kick the fucking habit, it is ruining your fucking life at this rate. You'd have a far more comfortable fucking lifestyle, Phil, if you just stopped playing WWE Champions and spending so much money on the fucking thing. Hell, you spent over $400 on the most recent event. That's undeniable, that's undisputable. You spent over four hundred dollars in the most recent event. That could have went to several fucking good. That could have paid off a couple of your bills very easily. I could have fucking easily paid for your fucking you know feast of the king for Saturday. Instead, you can't do feast of the king on Saturday because you can't afford it. Because why? Because you spent all your fucking money needlessly. Jesus Christ, man. I, I mean, I just kind of thought I'd share my fucking thoughts on that crap. You know, I just, I just love it, Phil. It's now just being become more transparent. You know, I'd, I'd I'd have far more respect for Phil if he just came up, you know, straight up and said, "Look, guys." Everything's going great apart from fucking tips. Tip me more, I'm just not playing this game anymore for you guys. Even though it's getting great support. You know, I'm sorry, let me, let me rephrase it. Even though it's getting great attendance, even though it's getting great engagement in chat, even though the on demand viewers are great, I'm not getting the tips I fucking want. So fucking, you know, cough up or I'm not playing it anymore. If it was more transparent with that, I'd have a bit more respect for his desperation. But it's just flat out admitting now everything else is going great apart from tips in the game and he has, that's the one thing he needs the most. Doesn't matter if you guys fucking turn up and watch it in like fucking droves. It doesn't fucking matter if fucking every single person likes it. You know, he's got like 200 or 300 likes on the fucking videos and stream for that game. Doesn't fucking matter if the on-demand videos far or outperform all his other content in this fucking channel. It doesn't matter any of that. All that matters to him is tips during him playing the game. If it's bad, then everything else is inconsequential. And anyway, I just got to thought I'd just point out one last wee thing. I've, I've not done this before yet, but 
Uh, some people give me super thanks on my you know comments and videos, and I do appreciate it. And I don't know how else to like highlight it. I mean, I don't I don't know if I should do it in a stream randomly and just say hey, but I just want to tackle it on to the end of this video. So, so ever since I've been able to you know get uh, you know over a thousand subs uh, uh, in my channel, I was able to enable this. And some people do leave super thanks now and again, like Doku World Order, Paul J Brazzle, uh, Dugway Monster. He he makes uh, DSP videos by the way. Uh, it's like um. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's thanks to this, I noticed he had a, a video, and uh, yeah, he was like, he made, made the Moron Files, which was like over an hour long, and uh, yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was worth you, and I, I believe I actually came gave me a, 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 a highlighted it, you know, I mentioned it, just, uh, it was worth watching, it was, it was it was worth watching, but yeah, he doesn't make videos very often, that's the thing, so I think he really takes his time with his videos. But I'm saying, even like The Ugly Monster, and uh, Blue, Monkey, Jedi, uh, Yusuf as well. Yusuf's uh, a great wee supporter as well. It's like uh, he he supports a lot of the tractors, you know, I really do appreciate that. And uh, Marlene Solgruber with a German Danka, you know, bitter shown Marlene Solgruber. And Diddy Streams, of course, as well, you know, and uh, and, and Paul J. Brazel most recently as well. As was since I'm saying, so people at uh, least super thanks, thank you very much. You know, I'm not gonna be like fucking Phil and say that I really need to support. I really do appreciate anything, but people never have to fucking feel it need to give me anything. I had somebody come in the stream like the other, the other day and like drop like you know over eighty pounds in tips, and I don't mind getting like wee small tips, but the big tips I feel it, it makes me feel too awkward, and I actually returned, I, I just refunded the two big tips the guy gave me, like, and then I emailed him as well saying like I appreciate it, but it's too much, you know, like it's it's uh, thanks, but you know, please don't take it the wrong way, you know, I'm happy to can accept wee smaller tips. But the big ones, it just was like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, pal. Cheers, man. It's, you do something cool with that money, like you, you do, you treat yourself, you treat yourself to that instead of something, or treat a loved one to that. But nah, but uh, yeah, guys, I really do appreciate support, you know. But uh, just, <laughs> I'm not looking for full levels of money. Just you know, make sure you look after number one first. Let me see after after yourself and your loved ones first, whatever. But I'm always happy getting any kind anything if people ever feel like they want to. But it's never a necessity. It's never a requirement. I'm never. Gonna like hold fucking streams or videos fucking hostage, saying like if you know guys aren't going to fucking support this, I'm not going to. I'm never going to be like that, you know. I was doing bingo before I was even monetized in this fucking channel, and I'll do bingo after I'm not monetized as well. Because bingo's fucking fun. It's the one fun way to endure a full fucking podcast or whatever. Anyway, this has been King Jad. Hope you enjoyed the wee video, and thanks again for people that do support randomly and like super thanks or anyone that like super chats or tips or whatever. You know, I really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Cheers and thank you very much. Catch you guys later. Peace out.